Hey everyone, this is Josh Krieger here again uh, with Edge of NFT live at ETH Denver with Francesco. I also have my colleague uh, Ethan Janney beaming in and excited to have you here. Um, what bring? Tell us a little bit about yourself and, and what brings you to ETH Denver. Yeah, of course. I mean, first of all, thanks for having me, Josh. Yeah. Pleasure to be here. Uh, you know, what's bringing me to ETH Denver is, you know, the crazy amount of uh, developers, builders, and everyone that's here because that's sort of... Uh, what we're focusing on at Cadena, uh, which is where I work. Uh, Cadena is a scalable proof of work layer one. Uh, we just launched this week, actually, if you want to check our medium, uh, Cadena Eco, uh, which is our ecosystem growth effort. Um, you know, I'm leading that uh, as CEO. We brought in an amazing partner to co lead it with me, uh, Paul Su from Decasonic. Uh, he's chief investment and innovation officer there uh, with us. Um, so, you know, we're super, super excited to kick this effort off. And, and what are you, what are you going to be doing? Yeah, so we're basically um, trying to jumpstart uh, companies building on Cadena. Um, we have our own smart contract language and our own architecture. So, you know, we're trying to bring in as many developers as we can to our platform, developers, entrepreneurs, but generally builders. And, and, and like for those that don't know what Cadena is, like what makes it unique and, and sort of differentiate it from some of the other layer ones? Yeah, of course. So um, we're the only sort of next generation uh, layer one that's innovating proof of work. We've managed to scale this infinitely. And the way that works is that um, we scale proof of work horizontally. Uh, we can we started with ten chains, um, scaled up to twenty last summer, and we've tested this up to hundreds of thousands of chains. So you can think of each chain as one Ethereum. So you know our upper scalability throughput is pretty much unlimited. And we're looking at you know hundreds of thousands of Ethereum's running concurrently. Wow, that's pretty cool. What do you think, Ethan? Yeah, it, it, it sounds really exciting, and and I love the aspect uh, of what you're doing about onboarding. Right, I think. Um, it's happening a lot in this space, but I think uh, there, this is sort of necessary with, with in a lot of the ecosystems and, and products and, and, and services that are being built uh, because we're onboarding the whole entire Web3, right? And then there's little, these little niches uh, within Web3 uh, where there's a community that's being built um, and there's really something cool that's, that's getting popping. And I, I bet you it's super fun for you to be like right, right there at the front lines of that. Um, can you tell us a, a little bit about kind of the roadmap here uh, for what you guys are doing maybe in the coming months in, in, in the year? Yeah. Yeah, of course. I'd love to do that. So as I said, uh, we just announced Cadena Eco earlier this week. Uh, so what's on our roadmap right now um, is to launch um, a venture fund to start helping companies um, and also a grants program to help sort of more community rented programs start building. Uh, but generally the vision there is to you know, jumpstart hyper growth for our ecosystem. Cadena is an inflection point of growth um, because we have our own smart contract language called Pact. So what we're seeing right now is a bunch of protocols just about ready to launch on us. There's a DeFi hub called Cadex, which is launching uh, by the end of this quarter. So my dates aren't wrong, that's by the end of March. Uh, they're doing some great work out there. Also some great companies in the NFT space. So we're really at this inflection point where we want to concentrate capital, strategic expertise, and great partners in order to attract people to come to Cadena. Now, one of the main things that we're focusing on is also growing the pie of the Web3 ecosystem. We know that you know blockchain is a uh, it's technology that's going to be here to stay for sure. So, you know, we're not necessarily into this. Hey, why don't you come off of this blockchain and come build on us, et cetera, et cetera? You know, we're focused on making the pie bigger for everyone, and you know, attracting people from Web2 and any type of developers to come and build on blockchain and, and use our technology. What's what's a specific example of like a use case for an NFT project? You know, we are edge of NFT. Like of walk, us, walk us through like a use case, maybe something someone has done already or sort of uh, a type of use case that you'd yeah. like to see. Yeah, of course. So like part of these efforts um, is one of them is called Marmalade. It's our NFT tooling platforms. And NFTs on Cadena are really cool because um, we can actually enforce uh, things that are now done by centralized platforms. So when you mint your NFT, you can do things such as enforce supplies price floor, um, enforce that royalties are getting paid, uh, have all sorts of things that you can think of, like rights to buy back your own NFT if it gets sold, et cetera, et cetera. And that's because of our new smart contract language pact that allows all these things to be possible. And then a huge feature on top of that too um, is something that we're, is called gas stations in the Cadena world, which means that... Uh, users don't have to pay for their own gas to do certain types of transactions and a smart contract can prepay that. Wow, um, yeah, that's pretty so, cool. And so like the, the amazing point that we're getting there and we're getting a lot of traction on the Web2 world and people coming over is that um, the onboarding and the UX behind something like that 
makes a lot more sense. You know, right now it's still a big limitation that someone needs to go to an exchange. They need to pass KYC. They need to transfer this, you know, currency over to their wallet to then be able to do something which, you know, in the Web2 world would have been just one click. Yeah. So that's where we're trying to get to. You know, we're trying to bring blockchain to mainstream to bring these functionalities that are missing, right? And you can't bring these missing functionalities without truly innovating on the base layer and a new smart contract language. That's cool. So when we look at it at 2022, and, and we're going to continue these conversations at NFTLA, which we're hosting March 28th through the 31st, I'm just curious, like, what, what are the macro trends that you're seeing and that you're excited about? Um, what inspires you in the space? Yeah, I mean, I'm very excited about the NFT space um, in terms of taking it even one step further. You know, like now we're seeing like the very first use cases, like empowering digital artists, uh, being able to, you know, do all these great things on blockchain without having to go through intermediaries or third parties or art galleries or whatever you might want to call it. But what we're really trying to push forward is, you know, everything that NFTs can do, right? And we really want to take that word for what it means, right? Tokens are one thing, but then non-fungible tokens, that's, if you think about it, that's pretty much everything else in the world, right? Because fungibility is a, is a word that means something very specific. And non-fungible is pretty much every other realm. So like, let's take advantage of that to do beautiful things with NFTs, such as potentially even, um, I'm gonna tease this out now, but like potentially even fundraising strategies that are based on NFTs. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and that's something where you really do need to push the needle and innovate on the standards themselves and the blockchain that it works on, all these things like eliminating gas, being able to write custom things in the NFT themselves really helped us push this yeah forward. yeah we just had a great talk with jennifer esposito and, and how she's using nfts to fundraise for her new mafia style movie that that's really exciting um so and she'll be at nftla but that's a great example of the use cases that are out there well i'd love to chat with you more i think we should do this again and dive deeper you've been on our radar uh Kadana as a whole to, to have on our show so um at least this is a good sneak peek of all the cool stuff you yeah. guys have going on uh, where can uh, folks learn more about you and, and, and eco, uh, the new eco project you're doing? Um, where, do they, where do they go? Yeah, so I mean, one great, you know, one stop shop is always the Kadena Twitter. Our latest news are in there. Um, and to learn specifically about Kadena Eco, uh, you can check the Kadena Medium, and it should be the most recent post in there. And also, uh, our main partner, Paul, has a complimentary blog post for it. Uh, you know, I encourage everyone to go and read this to learn more about Kadena Eco. And don't hesitate to reach out through any of these channels because we're looking for builders, investors, you know, anyone that wants to get involved with Kadena, we got something for you. And do you have a Twitter handle for you? Um, I do. Uh, it's FMELP, F-M-E-L-P. I'm not the most active on Twitter on the team, I got to say, but, you know, uh, it's uh, another way to learn. Focusing on other other things that are maybe more important. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had the time to be more involved on Twitter because we got a bustling community going on there. Um, people are in great and insightful comments, but you know, there's only so many hours of the day. <laughs> true, true that. <laughs> great to meet you, man. Great to meet you. And thanks for taking the time today. No, same here. Thank you so much for having me on the show. And you know, I'd love to come back. Um, and you know, happy to dive deep into any of the things that we talked about. Let's do it. Let's go further down the rabbit hole sometime soon. Thanks again. Awesome. Thank you.